Hey guys, uh, today we will be reading July 17th, 1 Chronicles 26 and 27, Romans 12, 9 through 21, Psalm 16, and Proverbs 19, 20 and 21. So, here we go. 1 Chronicles chapters 26 and 27. As for the divisions of the gatekeepers, of the Korathites, Korahites, Meshelamiah, the son of Kore, of the sons of Asaph. And Meshelamiah had sons, Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebediah the third, Jethniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohan, Jehonan, Jehonan the sixth, Eliahonai the seventh. And Obed-Edom had sons, Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Sakar the fourth, Nathano the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Peolathai the eighth, for God blessed him. Also to his son Shemaiah were sons born, who were rulers in their father's houses, for they were great men, for they were men of great ability. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni, Raphael, Obed, and Elizabad, Elzabad, whose brothers were able men, Elihu, and Semachiah. All these were the sons of Obed Edom, with the, their sons and brothers, able men, qualified for the service. Sixty two of Obed Edom and Meshelamiah had sons and brothers, able men, eighteen, and Hosa, the sons of Merari, had sons. Shimri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, his father made him chief. Hilkiah the second, Talbiah, uh, Tabaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons and brothers of Hosa were thirteen. These divisions of the gatekeepers corresponding to their chief men, their chief men, had duties just as their brothers did, ministering in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots by the father, by fathers' houses, small and great alike, for their gates. The lot for the east fell to Shelemiah. The cast, they cast lots also for his son, Zechariah, a shrewd counselor. And his lot came out for the, for the north. Obed Edoms came out for the south, and to his sons was allotted the gatehouse. For Shupim and Hosah it came out for the west, at the gate of Shalaketh, on the road that goes up. Watch corresponded to watch. On the east there were six each day, on the north four each day, on the south four each day, as well as two and two at the gatehouse. And for the colonnade, on the west there were four at the road and two at the colonnade. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers among the Korahites and the sons of Merari. And the Levites, and of the Levites, Ahijah had charge of the treasuries of the house of God and the treasuries of the dedicated gifts. The sons of Laden, the sons of Gershonite, of the Gershonites belonging to Laden, the heads of the fathers' houses belonging to Laden, the Gershonites, the Gershonite, Jehiel, uh, Jehieli. The sons of Jehieli, Zetham, and Joel, his brother, were in charge of the treasuries of the house of the Lord. Of the Amramites, the Isharites, the Hebronites, and the Uzielites. And Shebuel, the son of Gershom, son of Moses, was chief officer in charge of the treasuries. His brothers from Eleazar, from Eleazar were his son Rehabiah, and his son Jashiah, and his son Joram, and his son Zikri, and his son Shelomoth. This Shelomoth and his brothers were in charge of all the treasuries of the dedicated gifts that David the king and the heads of the fathers' houses and the officers of the thousands and the hundreds and the commanders of the army had dedicated. From spoil won in battles, they dedicated gifts for the maintenance of the house of the Lord. Also, all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zariah, had dedicated. All dedicated gifts were in the care of Shelomoth and his brothers. <clears throat> of the Isharites, Chenaniah and his sons were appointed to external duties for Israel as officers and judges. Of the Hebronites, Hashabiah, and his brothers, 1,700 men of ability, had the oversight of Israel westward from, of the Jordan for all of the work of the Lord 
for all the work of the Lord and for the service of the king. Of the Hebronites, Jerijah was the chief of the Hebronites of whatever, gener of whatever genealogy or father's houses. In the 40th year of David's reign, search, sorry, in the 40th year of David's reign, search was made, and men of great ability among them were found at Jazer and Gilead. <clears throat> King David appointed him and his brothers 2,700 men of ability, heads of fathers' houses, to have, a, have the oversight of the Reubenites, the Gadites, Gadites, and the half tribe of the Manassites, Manassites, for everything pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king. This is the number of the people of Israel, the heads of the fathers' houses, the commanders of thousands and hundreds, and, the, and their officers who served the king in all matters concerning the, the divisions that came and went, month after month throughout the year, each division numbering 24,000. Jashobim, the son of Zabdiel, was in charge of the first division in the, in the first month. In his division were 24,000. He was a defendant, uh, sorry, he was a descendant of Perez and was chief of, over, of all the commanders. He served for the first month. Dodai, the Ahohite, was in charge of the division of the second month. In his division were 24,000. The third commander for the third month was Beniah, the son of Jehoiada, the chief priest. In his division were 24,000. This is the Beniah, who was a mighty man of the 30 and in command of the 30. Amizabad, his son, was in charge of his division. Asahel, the brother of Joab, was fourth for the fourth month, and his son Zebediah after him in his division were 24,000. The fifth commander for the fifth month was Shamhuth, the Ezrahite. In his division were 24,000. Sixth for the sixth month was Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekoite. In his division were 24,000. Seventh for the seventh month was Helez, the Pelonite. Of the sons of Ephraim, in his division were twenty-four thousand. Eighth in the eighth month was Sibachai, Sibachai, the Hushathite of the Zerahites, in his division were twenty-four thousand. Ninth for the ninth month was Abiezar, the Anana, Anna of Anathoth, a Benjaminite, in his division were twenty-four thousand. Tenth for the tenth month was Mahar, <coughs> Maharai, Maharai of Netophah, of the Zerahites, in his division were 24,000. Eleventh for the eleventh month was Beniah of Pirathon, of the sons of Ephraim, in his division were 24,000. Twelfth for the twelfth month was Heldai, the, the Netophathite, Netophathite of Othniel, Othniel, in his division were 24,000. Over the tribes of Israel, for the Reubenites, Eleazar the son of Zikri was chief officer. For the Simeonites, Shephathiah, the son of Mekah. For Levi, Hashabiah, the son of Kemuel. For Aaron, Zadok. For Judah, Elihu, one of David's brothers. For Issachar, Omri, the son of Michael. For Zebulun, Ishmael, the son of Obadiah. For Naphtali, Jeremoth, the son of Azrael. For the Ephraimites, Hoshea, the son of Azaziah. For the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joel, the son of Padiah. For the half-tribe of Manasseh in Gilead, Ido, the son of Zechariah. For Benjamin, Jesiel, the son of Abner. For Dan, Az Azarel, the son of Jeraham. These were the leaders of the tribes of Israel. David did not count those below twenty years of age, for the Lord had promised to make Israel as many as the stars of heaven. Joab, the son of Zeruiah, began to count, but did not finish. Yet wrath came upon Israel for this, and the number was not entered in the chronicles of King David. Over the king's treasuries was Asmaveth, the son of Adiel. And over the treasuries of the, camp of the country, in the cities, in the villages, and in the towers was Jonathan, the son of Isaiah. And over those who did the work of the field for tilling the soil was Ezri, the son of Chelub. And over the vineyards was Shimei, the Ramathite. And over the produce of the vineyards for the wine cellars was Zabdi, the Shiplamite. Shift might. Over the olive and sycamore trees in the Shephala was Baal Hanan, the Gedorite, and over the stores of oil was Joash. Over the herds in, that pastured in Sharon was Shitrai, 
the Sharonite. Over the herds in the valleys of Shaphat was the, uh, the son of Adlai. Over the camels was Obil, the Ishmaelite. And over the donkeys was Jed Jediah, the Moronathite. Over the flocks was Jesus, the Hagrite. Over those, sorry, all these were stewards of King David's property. Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counselor, being a man of understanding and a scribe. He and Jehiel, the son of Hakmoni, attended the king's sons. Ahithophel was the king's counselor, and Hushai, the archite, was the king's friend. Ahithophel was succeeded by Jehoiada, the son of Benaiah, and Abiathar, Joab, was commander of the king's army. Romans 12, 9-21 Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in the spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Psalm 16, a victim of David. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones, in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who run after another god shall multiply. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names on my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let your Holy One see corruption. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Proverbs 19, 20 and 21. Listen to advice and accept instruction, that you may gain wisdom in the future. Many are the plans in the mind of a man. But it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. So good. July 18th is our next reading. First Chronicles 28 and 29. Romans 13. Psalm 17 and Proverbs 19, 22 and 23. I'll see you here for our next reading, July 18th. Have a great night.